Hey everyone, welcome back to channel Tech and Art. Hope you guys are doing good. Today we will learn uh, the synchronization issue for uh, SQL Server always on and uh, log shipping. So before starting the session, I would request to each and everyone who ever newly joined channel, please like to subscribe and don't forget to share with others. So let me quickly connect to the document. I have created this document to based on uh, to better understanding. So we are going to describe the you know the slow synchronization when the disks have different sector si uh, size for the primary and secondary for the SQL Server AG and uh, log shipping in both. So we'll understand this issue based on this example. You can pause the screen and you can read this example. So basically, these examples saying whenever your SQL Server always on or either log shipping, you know, configured with a different, you know, uh, disk size, then the synchronization issue will occur. How it is, so you can see the example. The primary replica uh, log file is located on a disk that has a sector size of 512 bytes and the secondary, uh, repli uh, secondary uh, replica log file located on a disk that has a sector of 4 kilobytes, okay and assume that the primary replica log file is located on a on premises and your secondary replica located on a either on a azure storage disk that has you know a sector size of 4 kilobytes okay so both ha having the mismatch uh, you know storage structure okay so in that case you know uh, definitely the slow synchronization will occur what is this in, in this scenario the following errors you so whenever you f uh, see this type of setup you will see the you know exact this kind of error getting triggered every time when the sql server getting started in your error log okay and additionally you, c you will feel that the sql server always on or log shipping is you know very slow to synchronized okay because of the io performance so to overcome this issue Microsoft, uh, you know, uh, launched a uh, couple of, uh, you know, CU updates and all. But this trace flag 1800, which is solving this issue, okay. So what is this trace flag 1800? Basically, whenever, you know, SQL Server, uh, basically SQL Server optimization when disk have of different sector sites used for the primary and secondary replica log files in terms of SQL Server AG and log shipping in, so basically, SQL Server supports the user adjustment of the transition log block size using the trace flag 1800. You can force SQL Server to always use 4096 byte kilobytes of a transition log files IO during the underlying physical disk sector size. So we'll understand this point actually. So whenever your environment, you know, storage structure is mismatched let's say primary having the 4 kilobytes and secondary having the 5, 512 bytes when you enable this uh, trace flag 1800 which enforced to use always to 4 kilobytes whether your disk size is you know 512 kb it will enforce in background to use the log files you know 4 kilobytes to enable this trace flag you have to set the parameter t hyphen uh, you know 1800 here and it will restart it will ask to restart the services you have to restart it okay so what is the conclusion of this as a best practice try to make sure that all disk on, on all replicas at least the log files having the same block size okay same storage size, sector size in a mixed environment whether where we have a mixed environment okay in a secondary has a physical structure of 512 bytes and primary has a s uh, sector size of 4 kilobytes there you definitely enable this tf1800 startup parameters because which uh, this will enforce to use the log size uh, log, uh, uh, to use the 4 kilobyte sector size okay this parameter is file basically so in general you can say that we should use the same size of a structure firstly either it's a primary or secondary both having the same you know, sector size 4 kilobytes if you don't have at least try to use 
log file where your log file is there having the same uh, sector size structure if primary having different size sector and uh, secondary having different definitely use where you, where uh, you, uh, either the secondary having the 512 bytes right so use there enable the trace flag t1800 which in a background it will enforce to use the log file to use the 4 kilobyte sector okay sector size of 4 kilobyte which help you to improve your AG performance synchronization issues and you know the performance will be better so well that's it for today you try uh, just go and do some you know uh, deeper analysis uh, and about this T1800 okay and you can try to use where you have a lab setup of AG firstly you remove this T1800 and then add it and then see the performance well that's it for today we'll meet you soon in the next video till then bye bye thank you keep watching